Roll sound. Roll camera, please. I will camera B speeds. Settle. Ready? Action, gentlemen. When we uh, incepted this whole idea of making the film, there was probably one director in the world that would be able to do it, and uh, I think that was Ross, because he's just, he vibes with us so well, he gets her humor, he gets her how we act, so it's, it's, you know, we're not sitting there for four hours trying to fix a, a line that's not exactly in the script, he knows that what matters is there, and um, we go from there, so it's pretty, pretty legit, it's fun. We've got all these celebrities. We've got William Shatner, we've got Sean Astin, we've got Danny Trejo, we've got Randy Couture, and we have all these veterans in the movie on screen alongside them. This has never been done before. And I'm seeing young guys from Iraq, Afghanistan, um, insisting that their mark be made uh, in this creative business. The medium, it doesn't make any difference because the idea is to convey a true, gutty, impactful story. Um, and if that's about the military, it's going to be natural because that's a true, gutty, and impactful experience. You know, right away, you see how, how much fun the group of us, we immediately get comfortable and realize that we can joke inappropriately and just act like ourselves. You realize you can just play off each other and joke around like, like idiots. People might understand it's like a skit, you know, eight minutes or so, eight minutes or less. It's okay to have one persona the whole entire time because you can hit it hard, hit it hard. But if you did an hour and a half of me going, hi, I'm Matt, kind of best, then you'd be like, God, turn this thing off, you know? So now there's kind of a hopefully a little roller coaster ride of fun jokes, a little cockiness, a little serious side, a lot of action. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in this thing and I just want to watch it. So I'm so excited.